You are now live. Let's brighten the screen a little bit. I don't know. It's working for me. Can you hear me, yes? <laughs> Charlie's trying to be very quiet. He's playing his game. Um, oh, right, now I just need to add in Dave. Send. Done. Hi, Twitch teams. Ooh. I'm just waiting for Dave to join us. Um, ooh, he runs a Tourette's action group, and I just wanted to see how he got involved and how. And he's also a carer for somebody with Tourette's too. Look at the lock at the the the, the lockdown here. There's Dave. Let me go. One, two, three. Bam. I'm so. <laughs> Look at that star in my eye. Ooh. Hi, Grave. I'm just rolling around this stuff. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, oh. There he is. Hi, uh. Hello, it's been a while. Ooh. It's certainly. How are you? I'm good. I've just got horrible lockdown hair at the moment. <laughs> and we've all got horrible lockdown things, so I shouldn't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. How have you been since, like, forever? <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Um, obviously, dealing with the lockdown, and obviously, as you know, I've got diabetes, so I've had to kind of be careful with it. So, but, yeah, not too bad. PJ's, PJ's struggling, but he's getting through it. Is he still on his own? He is. I've actually Ooh. had to um, commit myself to having lockdown between our house and his house to help him because he's actually needed help. And you might not have realised, but I'm actually sitting in his flat now. So with all the Doctor Who... He can come there. and say hi if he wants. He, he probably... It's not because he doesn't want to. He's, he's having a really bad ticky day. Um, oh, OK. I'll try, I'll try and persuade him to anyway. As you can see, he's in the top back corner of the Ooh. picture, look. Ah, that's TJ out there. <laughs> so well, how, are you, how are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. A um, few new developments with dissociative disorder, personality disorder and all that lot and other things, but mostly just trying to crack on with life. <laughs> and well, and keep so. doing the turtles. <laughs> bits and pieces on obviously Facebook and that, and I think you're doing an amazing job, and the idea of doing this, I think, is brilliant. Oh, thank you. Well, I just, I just think it's it's different, isn't it? It's, it helps pass yeah. time with the lockdown, and it gets it out there. I mean, the last episode I've done with a girl called Nicole and her mum, Jodie, um, she, we've actually garnered over 500 views already on YouTube, and we only done it, what, last? Three week, days ago? Like, three days ago, three, four days ago. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> so like, it's it, and um, oh, I've just done an Australian podcast for Australia, um, for Fox FM in Australia, um, that comes out in a few months' time. So I'm, I'm keeping myself busy. <laughs> You'll be turning from a star to a superstar then. Ooh, oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't know about being a star already. <laughs> well, you know a lot of things, which is really good because it's obviously doing you good, but it's also good you know, to make people more aware of Tourette's, so... Yeah, it is. It's what I'm, I'm I'm, trying to do. And, I mean, with the new app, TikTok, have you heard of TikTok? Oh! I have, yeah, I haven't gone on it or anything. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Um, I'm on there, and I've just managed to reach over 20,000 followers last night on there, right. just messing around, doing things like taking the mick out of my own Tourette's, raising awareness for Tourette's, turtles, yeah. and, and all that lot. <laughs> oh! So I just wanted to ask, um, yeah. what's your involvement with Tourette's? Right, my involvement, I'm still um, working for Tourette's. I'm a volunteer. Um, I work on this switchboard still uh, once a week now, sadly because I've had to cut down because of obviously the lockdown and people they can't get the volunteers. 
So I'm still on there doing their help desk and answering questions to people, you know, in any to do with their children, to do with lockdown. I also um, run a group with TJ still once a month. And because of the lockdown, we've now made that into a Zoom chat room once a week, every Sunday, um, which, is, which is brilliant because we're doing kind of just chat and quizzes. But it's really nice, like you must have had this said to you, the fact that, you know, we're doing it. It's helping people get through lockdown. Um, I, you probably know um, Gordon, Gordon Williams from up north. Uh, haven't. He's on, mm. he's on Facebook a lot with Tourette's. Well, he is a friend of TJ's and he's just okay. come, on, he's come on every week and he said it's just getting him through, to, through the lockdown. So we're still doing that. And also, um, oh, believe it or not, although I've got, I shouldn't be saying this, although I've got, um, diabetes, I'm now working for Age UK delivering things to elderly people that can't get out. Yeah, but you're still able, aren't you? So, ooh, so that means like even though you've got your problems and that, you're still like what I'm doing here, what TJ does, you and TJ do every month with ooh, the, like the Zoom meetings and the meetings before the, the virus. You're still yeah. managing to have that get up and go and help people, help people. And that's why I wanted to invite you on here because you were the first person, really, other than my family, to show that Tourette's is accepted by everyone and not just other people with Tourette's, if you get what I mean. There was more yeah. community. So, and we've got to push it more as well because it should be accepted, you know. It's like anybody with an illness or anything they've got, um, they're no different to anybody else. You, we, you've just got Tourette's. And you shouldn't be judged for it. And I'd do anything I could to, you know, get it out there to stop Ooh. people judging people and help people. I see. That's good. I, I was, I was um, um, telling uh, Jody. I was on video call to her um, the other day, Ooh. and like, I was telling how much, telling her how much I miss going out. And um, I was told her about you and TJ, and when we went to. Um, clubbing in London and the bouncer wouldn't let us in the club because he thought me and TJ were drunk and then he had to argue with you and Charles and yet he still wouldn't allow us in there and I mean that even though you guys literally were almost blue in the face with saying they're not drunk he still wouldn't listen and risk it well, TJ TJ's escape Ooh. is to go up to London obviously he can't now with the lockdown but there's a place called the City of Quebec it's a pub up there and they've got a they've got a downstairs, and it's amazing because it's just up TJ Street, um, and they have a guy on a piano, and he plays all show songs, and all the people all the people like say have been in a show in the West End. When they finish, a lot of them go there and they have a sing song around the piano. So you can imagine it's up TJ's street. Yeah, what, definitely. What, it's like you saying, "What do you do to get people going?" Well, they've been brilliant because they knew people will miss what they do. They do, they do a Zoom thing on a Friday night and it's all their pianists live from their houses playing music for two hours. You know, incredible. That's awesome. So it keeps, the, you know, because he, he sends messages out to his friends and he says, I'm going clubbing it tonight. <laughs> and say, oh, you can't go out, you can't go out because he has to explain, well, they're coming to him, not them, him not going to them. So yeah. I think it's, I think it's important, whatever, whoever you are, whatever you are, or whatever you've got wrong with you, you've got to try and do things, not only to help yourself, but you've got to do Ooh. things to help other people as well. Definitely. It's like, I think the coronavirus or this virus has definitely shown the humanity in people that wasn't there beforehand. Like, yeah, and, um, like with uh, Jodie and that lot, she got, hi, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> already seen him in the mirror. Yeah, no, he's there, and then he's there. Uh... Tried to sneak in. Uh... But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, yeah, it's just like helping out Jody in that last week and Nicole because Nicole's got the onset of Tretts and she hasn't been diagnosed with it yet, but it's very much like they're going now through the tests of the scans and making sure and nothing else is there, but. Oh, she's very much got the vocal. She's got the two complex motor tics as well. So she just has to wait for the 12 months diagnosis, like 
the year to go before the 12 months diagnosis hits. So it's been nice to sort of sit there and have something else to concentrate on because I've just been sat here watching box sets all day. Right, and, and looking after your turtles. Yes, and looking after my turtles. I mean, if I can just quickly do this. There's the main tank. Wow. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, so that one there is a pink-bellied side neck. They're rare in the in where they come from in the wild now, but they've right. become really popular in the pet trade. It's actually ridiculous that we just can't go and release them back out. It's a meat house. I bet they meet back up after lockdown and everything as well. I bet they keep you busy though. Oh, they do. They do keep me busy. <laughs> don't you? Pardon? You do love it though. Oh, I do. I wouldn't change it for the world, Dave. Really wouldn't. It's, ooh, it's just one of the best jobs ever. <laughs> I just wish I had the room to expand. So... What other things are you doing other than this? Because I'm sure you are doing other things. Um, so, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, my okay. turtles, which I do lives on, on TikTok and all that lot. Oh, because um, I, I use TikTok to help garner, like, donations in that forum. And then to keep myself busy, it's just literally been going for a walk, listening to Cher. I mean, all of Cher's albums. Back from, is it a dark lady? Album, I don't know. You're, I know you're a share fan, aren't you? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I'm not that much of a share fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone right back to like the Dark Lady sort of album where she's like skinny and twenty and <laughs> proper gypsy sort of girl. That yeah, I've just been and woo. I was out yesterday and I totally forgot I had my earphones in and I was just belting my heart out in the middle of these woods. Forgetting that there's other people around. So they probably... <laughs> how, how are you finding it going out with the other people and certainly ignorant people that aren't taking any notice of what they're asked to do? I haven't really been going out. Um, one, because of my autoimmune problem. I'm not risking it. I mean, the, what, yeah. the, the most I do is probably sit downstairs. Um, with like the neighbours and that, but that's all at a distance as well. Ooh, um, I've tried once going to a shop, but it just, before the lockdown, it was easy, put in headphones, go, get what I want, come out. And now yeah. it's kind of, ooh, the, the queue, everybody sort of like barging past and trying to grab everything. I mean, ooh, me and Charlie went there last time and I just couldn't believe why one woman wanted to pick up almost the whole tray of paracetamol, even though it's illegal to do so. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And I'm like, <laughs> like Ugh. so, and right. I had lots of nasal spray and all that lot, but, oh, so another, like, I, obviously I want to do, I want to ask you more questions as well. Um, yeah. like, how did you end up caring for TJ with his threats? Well, I'd known, I've known TJ for 20 years, and he was diagnosed eight years ago. And we were just going out like anybody goes out, and he was kind of collapsing onto the floor like he was having an epileptic, epileptic fit. So obviously, probably like yourself, you know, he went through a lot of hard work trying to get somebody to take you serious and get a diagnosis. Not that. He must have seen about, I'm not joking, about a dozen doctors before one doctor said that I think you ought to see a colleague of mine who's an expert in Tourette's, and which we did. And of course, straight away, he diagnosed him with Tourette's. Um, and because obviously, most people are diagnosed with Tourette's when they're children, but TJ was only diagnosed eight years ago, and I'm sure he won't mind me saying, but he's 44 now. He went, he went into a deep depression. Um, it was very very hard to get him out of it and so that's how I really started helping him yeah um, I suppose I, I suppose it was perhaps a bit easier for me because I'd worked 25 years in mental health so I'd actually maybe not known these people had Tourette's Ooh. I'd worked with people with Tourette's um, yeah. before and I suppose it just seemed natural that um, I helped him because obviously I'd known him to wing more. <laughs> yeah and I've actually now, I'm actually now um, his care I'm classed as his carer and that's, why I, 
Yeah, and that's why I've made a point of making lockdown between our house and his. I mean, my partner, Robert, he's fine with it. Um, you know, I think as long as we're sensible, TJ hasn't been out. I think the first thing we've done is that one of the mums of one of our children with Tourette's, she's really struggling because oh. she's got issues herself as well as her daughter with Tourette's. And on mm. Monday, we sent, sat in her front garden, like four of us, social distancing. It was just the most weirdest thing because her garden faces a main road and it, like everybody's walking past and waving. Um, so, so, yeah, so that was why I got involved with TJ and how I got involved with him, really. Um, and then, so like, sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, and then that's obviously then how it came about that you started the Tourette's Action Group and, and all that yeah, lot. Because, to... Yeah, because he was so depressed, he phoned Tourette's Action and asked them, was there anything, you know, they could suggest that he did. And they gave him suggestions of going to groups and to find an adult group. Well, at that time, there was would you believe 35 groups in the country and it's now down to seven Jesus. Um, yeah and he went he was traveling all the way um to london to go to this adult group i took him and it was amazing it was brilliant um and the only trouble is it didn't last long and then you wouldn't believe it twice he went up on his own he did go first class and the only adult he could find was in scotland and he traveled twice all the way to scotland just to get the group so, again, that started to get him really down, and he said, well, what can we do? And I said, well, I don't know, just phone threats and see what they say. And they suggested that he started a group. Well, as you know, as you came along to it. I came, yeah. Yeah, well, we started it, and it obviously he tried to kind of, I was hoping it would be an adult group, but it's turned that it's mainly mums and dads with kids, which we have no problem whatsoever, and we just love it. Um, they get so much from it, not just the kids, but the adults as well. I was going to say, because the parents can then see, and the kids themselves can see what life's going to be like down the line, potentially for them, and all that lot, and, and, and to really not worry. <laughs> um, and, I mean, when we went on the days out and all that lot, it was just almost one big down family, friend, yeah. outing. <laughs> and, it, and it still Ooh. is. And the nice thing about running our Sunday Zoom group that we're getting um, people coming on it. We, we get about an average of about 10 every Sunday, but we're also getting people, I don't know where it's just, well, it is, it's just coincidence, but like last Thursday, I had a, a gentleman phone the help desk and he was saying he's really desperate because his daughter's only just been diagnosed and everything, he doesn't know what to do. And I suggested he came on and met the people on the chat room, which I wasn't sure whether he would do, because obviously first time, doesn't know mm. anybody. He came on and he was lovely. And then we had another lady who, again, funnily enough, sheer coincidence, phoned when I was on. She's local. A daughter's just been diagnosed. And he ended up sending her messages saying that I've just been on David and TJ's chat room. You really should come along, even if you're nervous, because he said, I've got so much out of it. He said, just by talking to mums and dads. And he even brought his daughter on, because he's been on twice Ooh. now. He brought his daughter on one the, the second time, and it's not the daughter it's got the, the, um, Tourette's, it's the other daughter. And she came on, and she was only 11, and she came on, and he said, my daughter wants to ask a couple of questions. And that, it was just so brilliant that she came out with, how do I help my sister without making her feel that I'm taking the mickey out of her? And she just came out with about three questions that were really quite adult questions. But just for her to come on there and be able to talk to somebody that understood about Tourette's. And yeah. Them, it was lovely. Uh, it is nice when, like you say, you can build up the, the community for it all. And especially with a charity like Tourette's Action. I haven't really spoke about Tourette's Action on Detail Eyes. So I, to be honest, you guys are the only ones that I've, known from Tourette's Actions and I'm a neurologist, Dr. Jeremy Stern, that's, that's really it. So could you explain what Tourette's Action is and how it helps in case anybody wants to look at it? Yeah, Tourette's Action is an amazing charity and I'm obviously bound to say that because I'm a volunteer for them, but they are, they're, they're very small, smallly staffed, it's mainly volunteers um, and they actually help and look after Ooh. people with Tourette's all over the country. And they're even involved with America, 
with um, future, um, I, I've lost the words now, I can't think of the word, um, projects, you know, looking at Tourette's and how they can help with it. But they are amazing because they've got a help desk, as I've already said, and they're there, um, they've had to unfortunately, again, like anybody else, had to cut down a bit with their help desk because of the people, they haven't just got the people now with the lockdown. Um, but they're there um, Monday to Friday, even on the phone, um, from I think it's nine till three now. But if you've got any problems with Tourette's, it doesn't matter whether it's your child's having problems with schooling, um, medication. Um, we're not qualified to give medical advice, but we can get medical advice for them or, or put them in the right direction. So it's just really they're there. They cover everything with Tourette's. So if you've got a problem, you know, get in touch with them. They've got a website and they've got the help desk. Um, I should have been more prepared. You know? I should have had and everything, but... That's all right. <laughs> You only need to look up Tourette's Action on the website and you'll find them, and they're amazing. Um, and especially now, because lots of mums and dads are struggling having their kids home, and not only having their kids home, but then having a child that's got Tourette's as well. Yeah. It's, it's impacting mega on top of everything. So they really are ready to help. With my mental brain, I would not know what it's... I would not like to have a toddler or a young child with Tourette's running around at the moment. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that would be something, yeah, that would be a big no-no for me. <laughs> but you know what? Kudos and, like, well done for all the parents that are at home not knowing oh, what to do. Yeah, incredible. I'm just wondering, he probably will say no, because I'll say he's having a bad day, but it, I don't know you. Um, TJ, he'd like you to just come and say hello. Oh, he can't. He's on the bed. <laughs> He's, he's having a real bad tick attack. Ooh. Oh, is he? Okay. Because the, the Tourette's and his the lockdowns, how it's impacting on TJ, because like anybody else, it's causing him to get up later. And, of course, then he's having bad tick attacks and his day's kind of half of what it normally is, you know. Yeah. You see people. Uh, the last tick attack I had was about a week or so ago. And, obviously, we... I have a care plan now, so like Charlie just picks up nine nine nine. They're here, and then within twenty minutes, they're out. I'm, I'm I don't have to go to hospital or anything now anymore for mine. So, oh, um, but I kind of hope T TJ's okay. <laughs> it, it'll be all right once he's had a rest and that. It, it'll be okay. But I really, yeah, I totally understand with you because I know obviously I've been with you when you've had them, and yours are mega as well. And it's, yeah. It's basically having a plan how to get through it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Twitch Teen says that's what's happening to me, and that's from Olivia. So Twitch Teens, Dave, um, they're a group of uh, teenagers in the UK that have come together to do an Instagram group and TikTok group of teenagers with Tourette's to try and help spread the awareness for Tourette's and that in, in, in their age group as well and sort of putting themselves out there and showing people that it's all okay. <laughs> so power to them because that's brilliant they're young and doing it because yeah so especially often, sorry, go on. I was just saying so uh, often the youngsters don't understand and don't want to listen so people like them if they can put it out they're amazing yeah it is brilliant it is brilliant and yeah what's your plan for the rest of the day Dave we're, we're just going to hopefully, because the weather's not too good today, we're going to go out for a walk if we can, because that's the only kind of thing that gets us out, obviously. Um, try not to go to the supermarket too often, because you know me, I'm not, I don't keep my mouth shut. And I've, had a couple of, I've had a couple of set twos with some people in the supermarket, um, just because of their sheer stupidity, they're not taking any notice of what they're asked to do. No, they don't at all. I was walking back yesterday from my walk and the amount of people that wouldn't budge off the middle of the path to the point where I had to make sure that there was no cars in the road to walk yeah. around them. And walk in the road. And I was just like, are you stupid? And like most, I, I'm just finding, like I said, it can bring out the best in humanity, but then we're also seeing the worst in how selfish humanity is as well. And Definitely. 
And I think you hit the nail on the head. They are stupid, I'm afraid. Yeah. Because they bother it, they weren't. It's just, like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm also, oh, I'm, you know me, I'm very much a big animal and nature lover as well. So I'm loving seeing the fact we're having Caribbean style like seas in Portsmouth where the boat traffic's not kicking up so much sand and silt. I just yeah. know that now it's just all going to, we ain't going to learn from it. <laughs> oh, selfish cunts. Like, Say what Eamon Holmes said on the television the other day. You said you're into nature, didn't you? You said you're into nature. Well, he said I'm into naturism, and they had oh. to tell him that he'd said the wrong word. Yeah, but he thought he was a nudist. <laughs> 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 but, it, but he meant exactly what you. He's into nature and helping, and it is yeah. amazing. I suppose that's one good thing out of the lockdown, isn't it? Um, you know, it's made it, uh, the planet a lot kinder with no aeroplanes and things like that. And, the planet's healed quickly and it just goes to show how quick she can actually start to repair itself. It's just, we don't give it the time. And, uh, and you've only got to, <laughs> well, you've only got to look at these idiots that are going down the beach, aren't you? And leaving oh. their rubbish there. Exactly. Not only, not only should they not be on the beach, but look at the devastation when they've left. And yeah, they'll be the same sort of parents that turn around and go, my kids up there and back to school. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So yeah, um, what I'll do is I'll probably say thank you for that, and then in this, and then um, I'll put it all up on YouTube, and I'll ta tag Tourette's Action in it on Twitter as well to show that you've um, you've done this, and then hopefully they can all see that as well. Um, I just wanted to get somebody else's output that I didn't have Tourette's, but then came into the world of Tourette's and and how you're helping out, and I think what you're doing is brilliant with the switchboard, the the, the Zooms, meetings, and everything. Um, if you can send me the time and date that you do your Sunday Zooms and yeah. your meetings and that, I can put that all in the link on YouTube and all in the bio. Oh, okay. well, and then if all, I, all I'll need is a selfie from you so I can put it as a thumbnail on, on YouTube and then we'll see how it goes. And hopefully it just, with the information and all that, it, it leads people to you and TJ for help or it helps on a more attraction for Tourette's action, which would be brilliant. Yeah, because obviously after the lockdown, we'll start up the groups again. And I'll, 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 I'll definitely try and get to <laughs> another one. I'm just so busy. <gasps> and we're already, we're already provisionally, provisionally, obviously, whether it happens or not, we're already provisionally booked for end of November, um, Hogwarts, Hogwarts in the snow. So... There's about 20 of us going to that at the end of November, if, obviously, it's all cleared up. If, if there's any space left and the, the corona's... I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a massive I'll, Harry Potter fan. I'll send you the info, but one just thing before I go quickly. We have got a, a Zoom meeting this Sunday at 2 o'clock, and yeah. half, half of it is going to be a family fortunes quiz, so that should be quite fun. Okay. If people just, if people just wanted to come along for that. Okay? Yeah. And it'll be... And there'll be prizes as well. Awesome. I you know, I think we might join. Let me see if... Yeah, do. Hello. He's playing Xbox. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Yourself? Ooh. Yeah, are you managing through it all? It's, it's a bit tedious, let's just say. It's a bit same old day. Same old shit, different day in a sense. But I've got to say it's amazing, though, because I'm fully aware of bits and pieces I'm putting up on Facebook that you're there for Ryan, which is brilliant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, we, that means a lot. Well, if we all stick together and do things for other people, then we, we should get through it. As I say, it's just the idiots that are not. It's made me realise who friends are and who family are and who are the people that are in it for themselves. And it's, for me... Uh, it's made me realise that there's a lot of people that care out there and we just need yeah. to realise that we just need to communicate and be honest and put it on the table and then when it's on the table we can talk about it but if we haven't talked about it then what can we do? We can just sit on it and it doesn't just, we can just sit on mentalities like that. But before we put it on the table, sterilise it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, I have missed your humour, Dave. I really have. Dave. Well,
Well, At least I'm not dousing myself with Dettol, hey? <laughs> or injecting it. <laughs> this is meant to be family friendly on YouTube. That could be edited. No, it's not being edited out, but you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> All I can say from my side as well that you keep going like you are because I think you're doing so much for everybody else as well. Thank you. Gonna say, if we don't have a sense of humour and if we don't have a laugh, then we're just going to be money, dwelling, and getting old. Ooh. It, uh, just one little thing you might quite find funny, but it's nothing. As I say, we're doing deliveries for um, Age UK, and we had a lady that we did last week, and she was 83, but she came to the door and she was dancing and everything, and we were told that it wasn't essentials she wanted, but she wanted shopping for the chemists. And we went, and it was a whole list of, like, beauty products, like night creams, day creams, and... When we delivered it, she was so thrilled that we'd got it all. And obviously, that's what keeps her going, because she was 83 and she looked about 60. But I did have to laugh, because I said to her, when you've got it indoors and you can do it without worrying about us standing here, can you just have a check that we've got all the right stuff and just text me and let me know? And she sent me a text and said, oh, wow, you've got all the right stuff. It was so good. When I want my clothes next time, I'm getting you out to go and get my clothes for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, it's like when we had the American girls over. With them, they they had me and Charlie acting as um, as, as as personal like dressers or wardrobe people. We had like a, um, a friend from America coming to visit. I, I don't know why. I mean, my this like. This has got toucans on, for Christ's sake. It's not exactly top high-end oh. fashion. <laughs> you always do look as though you're fashion. One thing, sitting here talking to you, I've just realised the lighting's not very good here, and I look about 90, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you look fine, Dave, trust me. You look fine. Oh, this, this interview's been brilliant. Well, I'm, I'm so chuffed you asked me to do it, because... You know me, any chance to promote Tourette's action or Tourette's. Um, and I say, you know, this is a brilliant way of doing it. Awesome. Thank you for doing it. Well, just keep, just keep it going. You're amazing. I will. Um, and I'll, you do. And I'll send you all the bits you want. And if I haven't, let me know. So you, oh. want, a, you want a picture of me? Yeah. Uh, so like just a selfie. And then um, all you meet, all your... So, Tourette's action um, information and your meetings and how people can contact you guys on Zoom and all that lot as well. So, What's the best way to send it to you? Uh, send it to me via uh, Facebook Messenger. Okay, and then I just can copy and paste everything and put it over and then the video should be up later on tonight. So then you can share it on your Facebook and on your Twitter or wherever. Okay. So it'll, it'll be there. Cool. And also by doing this, of course, you've in introduced me to Instagram because I've never done it before. <laughs> you'll love it. You'll take all these pictures and that. You find all these weird little filters as well. So like you'll take pictures. I mean, let's see if I can find a filter for you quickly. I mean, oh, my goodness, there's right. naughty possum. I don't know what a naughty possum is. Or this one will suit you. Or this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's. We do have some things like, oh my God, we do have some things like this come up when we're on Zoom. But not <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. Oh my God. I can see I'm going to definitely like it. Yes, okay. yes you shall. So, but, oh, so yeah, this is obviously being broadcasted live. There's been a few people watching and commenting and all that lot, but I just download this straight away, ooh, put it on YouTube, and then it's up there forever and everyone else can see. So, Brilliant. Tracks well, actually keep needed if they needed to or whatever, so it's all good. Keep going, take care, and it's been you brilliant. Too, mate. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Right, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye.